Morning everyone, Mr. Mitchell here. Nice weekend. Great. So Monday again then. Oh good, Monday, start of another week. Oh, sorry if I look a little bit moody, but you know, Monday. Monday and all that. What is it about Mondays? Well, I'll tell you, Mondays suck. And it's not just because Mr. Grumpy Mitchell says it either. A 2011 study by Marmite showed that on average, in England, people don't smile on a Monday until 11.16am. Personally, I like to smile as soon as I wake up, get it over and done with. I mean, why are Marmite doing surveys anyway? Surely they should be concentrating on making less revolting jam or whatever that muck is that they make. Some people actually have that junk on toast for breakfast and Ma might wonder why we all look so miserable in the mornings on a Monday. Ma might. Here's another thing I found out about Mondays. According to Fact Site, Monday is a word we use in England to describe a large and heavy hammer. No it's not. Who's ever heard of that? Who told you that? Probably the same people who told Marmite that anyone actually liked their Marmite. Another study in 2011 showed that people on average moan for 34 minutes on Mondays compared to 22 minutes on every other day. 34 minutes? Stick around, I'll see if I can up that average for you right now. 34 minutes. I do that as a moaning warmer. We're also at our laziest on a Monday. So if I don't get much work done today, Miss Miles, not my fault, it's Monday's fault. Apparently Monday is the day of the week where your friends are most likely to talk about you behind your back. Not my friends. Mine talk about me behind my back every day of the week. Monday's also the day that you are likely to weigh the most. That's good news for us middle-aged men, isn't it? Looking to dust off our speedos as summer comes along. Just don't head down to the beach on a Monday. But Monday's also the day of the week that it's least likely to rain. Yeah, that's because we can't go to the beach. Wait till Saturday, it will pelt down. Apparently, you're also at your least attractive on a Monday too. Not in my case, obviously, but you know, point taken. Anyway, apparently my first smile of the day will take place in about an hour and 12 minutes, so let's all make ourselves comfortable and wait for that, shall we? Good morning Baycroft and welcome to the week. It's fantastic to see you and I hope you've had a really lovely weekend with your families and you've managed to get some time to rest and relax. You had a really busy week last week. We were thrilled to receive so many entries to the home learning email and so many great reports from your mums and dads and carers about the fantastic work that you're doing at home and all the kind and sensible and grown up things that you're doing. So thank you very much indeed for that. We are really looking forward to diversity the week this week and we'll be thinking about one of the best things about Baycroft which is how different we are and how much we're the same, how we share all of the same hopes and dreams and values, how we enjoy being together and enjoy learning and growing and playing and laughing and how it's great to be different and understand each other's differences, respect them, enjoy them and celebrate them. So it's going to be a great week ahead. I asked you earlier in the week to think about gratitude and think about some of the things we're really grateful for. Had some lovely entries, including a student who said they were really grateful for their garden and their trampoline. I should think a few of you are very grateful for your trampolines at the moment, and your mums and dads are grateful that you've got them too. I've had a great week. I've had some beautiful walks, and I'm really grateful that we live in such a lovely part of the world. And I've been able to walk on the beach one day, and in the forest another day, in the evenings after work. 
and it's been a really enjoyable experience. Most of all, I'm grateful for Baycroft. I'm grateful for all the teachers and the staff and all of you, the students and your families and the wonderful community we make together. And I'm very proud of you. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing you again. So I hope you have a great week. Enjoy all of the activities, all of the films and presentations. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye. Hi Baycroft, welcome to another week of Baycroft TV. Now I want to say a big thank you to Mr Kiff for covering the last two exercises from last week. Thank you very much Mr Kiff. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing a double knee touch jump. So what we're going to do to start is we're going to lift one knee up, other knee up, both knees up. One, two, both. One, two, both. We're going to get those knees nice and high and tap them with our hands. I want to see 10 sets. So it's one, two, one set, two sets. Make sure you're pushing up nice and high. Give it a go. See you tomorrow. Bye, Baycroft. This world holds the lives of over 7 billion people. 7 billion unique individuals with 7 billion stories to tell. And although we differ in the languages we speak, the cultures we practice, the sexualities we identify with, and the abilities we have, we are all human. Hello Baycroft. We are going to be covering Diversity Week on Baycroft TV. This gives us, as a community, the opportunity to talk and think about different religions, sexual identities and race, amongst many of the other things that make us this extremely diverse and exciting culture. There may be things we speak about that creates questions and discussions, and myself and your tutors are here to have those with you. Please send any thoughts into the home learning email address and they can be passed on. There will be also tasks during the week to help you connect with the thinking and develop your own views on various topics. Please note though, some of the content this week may not be suitable for young viewers. These segments will always be at the start of the broadcast during the fourth of the day segment, so it can be avoided if deemed necessary. Without further ado, in Baycroft TV tradition, our Monday broadcast features some of the staff at Baycroft alongside some rather well-known faces, explaining what diversity means to them and why is it important in our world today. Diversity to me is knowing that there's so many different things about people. Um, not everyone is the same, but at the same time, that's great because having differences is just amazing. If you think about a bunch of flowers, sometimes you've got yellow flowers, purple flowers, you know, they're all different colours, shapes and sizes, yet put them all together and they just look wonderful. So diversity to me is all the very best different things about people coming together to make one amazing thing. Diversity to me means understanding that everybody is different and respecting their differences. Party with you, come on. Celebration. 
Let's all celebrate and have a good time. Diversity means a range of different things or people. Ideas are made better by a diverse range of thoughts, opinions, cultures and backgrounds. We are made better and grow as a person by opening ourselves up to the experiences and feelings of a diverse range of people different to us. We should always strive to be expanding our horizons, knowledge and empathy for others. Diversity to me is about celebrating and recognising all the differences we have in this world. Cultures, religions, sexual identities, they all make these fantastic people that we have in this world. And it's not just about celebrating those differences, it's about learning from each other and becoming a more creative and successful community. It's also a really cool dance troupe. As part of Diversity Week at Baycroft, we are looking at other cultures, and a big part of other cultures is language. So, I've asked the staff at Baycroft to show off their language skills by showing you how to say thank you in all the languages that they can speak. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Kirsten Satan. Achu. Kikos. Tak. Gracias. E faristo poi grazie. Mahalo nui. Spasiba. Shishi. Arigato gozaima. by Lai Kok Kun Baycroft from Thailand. Hello. How are you? Thank you. Donkey. Ya bonga. Ya hamiele.
Hello everyone, it's nice to be back on Baycroft TV, it's been a few weeks now actually, so um, when I saw that there was an opportunity to do one uh, or to contribute a video about Sonic the Hedgehog, I couldn't have been more excited, this is one of my favourite games that I played when I was young, um, it was on, well I was five when this came out, uh, so it was released in June 1991. And I used to play it on my Mega Drive, which I'm sure some of you have heard of. A lot of you haven't, actually. I've had conversations with you gamers, and uh, I've asked if you know the Mega Drive, and a lot of you have said, no, never heard of it. Well, now you have. Uh, so the Mega Drive was the game console that I used to use when I was younger, and Sonic was one of those games that came out and was around when I used to play it, and it used to be one of my absolute favourite games. So, as I said, it was made in June, or released, sorry, in June 1991, by a, a team of developers called Sonic Team. It all started because they designed a mascot and the Blue Hedgehog was the mascot. And then it turned into one of its most successful, iconic games of their franchise. So, and here we are today, years later, playing remastered and redeveloped versions of it on different platforms as well. If you've never played the game before, it's basically all about this hedgehog you're seeing on the screen now called Sonic. Uh, and he's on a quest to defeat Dr. Robotnik, who is the bad mental scientist in this. Um, basically, Dr. Robotnik has imprisoned animals um, and he's stolen these Chaos Emeralds to get lots of power. And that's basically what your job is to do, is to stop Dr. Robotnik. So you've got to run around uh, these levels that you can see in the background um, and collect rings and they act as like a form of health if you get hit by something you lose the rings and that is your health and then if you get hit again you die and you lose your life and then you restart with however many lives that you've got left so it's a really 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 simple system it was your classic up down left right jump and that was it and you would attack by spinning um, or collecting the little tv things that would break and it'd give you special powers and so on um, and, and that was basically, that was it, that was the game. You just moved from one level to another, collecting the rings, freeing the animals, and, and trying to beat Dr. Robotnik. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you enjoy another minute or so of gameplay, and then I'm going to hit you up with some challenges. So, now it's time for your challenges. So your green challenge is to draw a mascot or create a mascot. So you could create your own character or copy one from a game that already exists. Your second challenge, your orange challenge, is to design a cover for a game. Again, that might be a game that you want to design yourself or it could be copied from a game that already exists out there. It's completely up to you. In between these uh, challenges, I'm just going to enjoy the background as well. You might see me bobbing along to the uh, music, which isn't from the game, to be honest. Your blue challenge is to research all the different type of genre game there are out there. Now, I think I've already told you what this one is. This is a platform game. So I want you to go and find out any other type of genres of games that are already out there. So what games do developers make? And the red challenge, the biggest challenge of the lot, is what I want you to do is compare games from 1991 to the games that you see out there today. I want to know how the games have changed, what technologies changed, I want to know about the graphics, about all of that kind of stuff. So find out as much as you can about games from 91 to now. Good luck. Hopefully we'll check out all your contributions on the Bake Off TV. 
um, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with, what mascots you come up with, what covers you come up with, and I'm really looking forward to seeing your research on the types of games that are out there and how the games have changed from night one to now. But until next time, take care and we'll see you soon. Today's side is chocolate. Hi guys, welcome back almost the end of Monday's broadcast. It's kind of cheered me up a little bit, hope you've enjoyed it. Choo, 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 Tuesday tomorrow. But before then, enjoy the rest of today and we'll see you then. Thanks very much for watching, bye bye. <laughs>